All right, guys, what's up, eh? Today we're going to talk about drones that flip instantly upon takeoff and what we can do to fix that. Of course, it can be extremely frustrating when you set up everything on your drone, go to your first flight, go to takeoff, and it just ramps up and goes boop right over. So the most common cause for this happening is the flight controller not communicating properly with the motors. How does this happen? So there's a thing called, and I'm sure you've seen it, called PIDs, P-I-D. That stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. Now, what that is, is basically a system of auto-correcting a loop. So when you tell the drone to roll to the left, the drone looks at its sensors, where it's at, compares it back to what you told it, and then corrects what the motors are doing to get there. So it's a loop. You give it input, it tells the motor what to do, then it measures where it's at with that movement, and then it tells the motors to stop because you stopped on the stick, and it's just a communication loop. Now, if something's not set up properly, this loop can basically cause your quad to instantly flip, and we'll get into that here in a second. All right, so how does this miscommunication slash feedback loop happen? What can we do to fix it? Well, if we go back in time to when you were building your drone, um, you remember wiring up your, your motors, depending on how you wired it, your motor will spin one way or the other way. Good thing about this is that you don't have to rewire anything. You can go into your software, into Betaflight or into BL Heli, and you can change the direction of which way the motor is spinning. So the reason that that is important is that your flight controller, the brain that controls those PIDs, basically, if it's thinking to itself, I need to spin the front right motor faster to compensate and go this way. However, what it's really doing is spinning the front right motor backwards, then it's pulling it. So it's got the opposite effect. Um, the other issue it could be with motors is not motor spinning direction but thinking this motor is this motor so there's a motor orientation diagram and i'm going to show you a picture of it here that is very important how i like to think of it is the front propellers are always spinning as if you're hugging someone like this sometimes i just stand there when i'm flying and i go like this so I remember which way my propellers are going. The fronts are going like this, as if you're hugging. So it's spinning inwards, almost like a weird swimming stroke. And the ones in the back are going outwards, like that. Another weird swimming stroke. Um, that basically, if you don't have those in the right places, then if it's thinking this one's spinning to the right, but in reality, this one's spinning to the right, same thing. It's going to think that it's pushing it back this way, but really it's pitching it this way. And that feedback loop will get way worse because the more that it tries to ramp this one up, the faster this one ramps up. And then it'll happen so quickly, that little feedback loop, it'll just go boop, right over. So honestly, 90% of the problems are people's orientation and motor direction not matching this diagram. Another important part of this diagram is that your back right motor is number one, your front right is number two, your back left is number three, your front left is number four. And all of that is in relation to the direction of the flight controller. Most flight controllers will have an arrow on them. If you look on this one real carefully, look through that triangle hole right there. You see that little white arrow? That's indicating that that's forwards. So I have my camera on the front here, that's forwards. That is very important because you want to make sure that your back right motor spins clockwise. Front right is coming in counterclockwise. Front left is clockwise. Back left is counterclockwise. The best way to verify this and double check this is to take off your props and turn on your drone and just give it a tiny bit of throttle 
you can put your finger against the shaft and see which way it's spinning or you can uh, put a little sticky tape on there and see which way the tape's spinning but is to make sure that that orientation and that the spinning is the right direction as in that diagram now a couple other things it could be um, your propellers they do have a proper way to be installed you can take this off and put it on upside down and that could be another issue so that's another one to check um, another one is unlikely but possibility too that is unlikely but a possibility too that it could be a motor short um, the screws in the bottom have to be the right length and I I 3d printed a little skid pad for the bottom of my drone but um these screws if you've got them set up too long they'll go into the motor windings and cause a short that can cause the motor not to work so when you ramp up it may look like it's spinning but it's not spinning that fast and it flips over the other thing to check on beta flight is your receiver tab and just to make sure that the input you give it is the correct input um, you want to make sure obviously that they're communicating as well there's different modes you can fly with FPV acro mode obviously you don't use the accelerometer it's it's got no self-leveling self-level mode as it intends it's just keeps it level now if your quad is always flipping upon takeoff one of the things you can check to see if it's anything wrong with your accelerometer is to just simply make sure it's an acro mode or disable self-level mode that way you know if it flips it's got something to do other than the accelerometer and a similar thing to that is is a mode called turtle mode i would verify to make sure that you are not had turtle mode set up at first if if your drone is flipping because if turtle mode is not set up right um, it can cause your drone to flip what is turtle mode right turtle mode is a setting basically you can set up that if you were to crash and your drone was upside down you could flip a switch and it will reverse and pop the, the, the drone right back over well that's it for now just make sure you know I would definitely check that motor diagram that's very important that was the reason why my drone was flipping um, and maybe I'll make a video about that and show you that but um, I hope one of these was your problem and that you got it figured and that you're all good to go